We finally sail to Ibiza and head directly for the north to the wild side. Last few passages have been pretty fun, particularly from Barcelona through to Mallorca. We were just beating the whole time into you know, quite choppy waves. And I was thinking, you know what, if this is what the Atlantic's like, it ain't going to be very relaxing or much fun. But we've had a few short stints at a downwind sailing. Rolling with the waves downwind is a very different ball game to heading into the wind and into the waves. So this long, so this long passage should be quite good. still just tickles my fancy that you can put up a slightly curvy piece of cloth and then just sit back and let the wind do all the work. Well we've cut up to most of the guys who left this morning. We're averaging around seven and a half knots. They're doing around six. And the thing is we're all about the same size. We're gonna be happy with that. Well, we are just off Ibiza. Turns out the passage wasn't as much downwind sailing as beam on, but considering the last two or three months of sailing have been mostly closed hull by the wind, I'll take it. It's been uh, nice and gentle. And what's more, the uh, waves have been beam to aft on, so it's just been a nice and leisurely sail. The north coast of Ibiza looks quite appealing. Quite rugged, hilly, cliffs and the odd forests. We're heading for Cala Portunax, which is the first sheltered harbour from the prevailing southerly and also as the wind is going to shift back towards an easterly. As beautiful as the east coast is, the colours there are essentially unviable for the next few days with the predicted easterly coming through. We're just going to chill out. It's been a reasonably long sail, and yeah. By the way, Elle's taking the paddleboard to, into town. She saw a supermarket, so it's time we maybe got some some more provisions. We're starting to see quite a few yachts flying the Arc flag, all heading across to Gibraltar and then Gran Canaria, ready for the crossing in November.
best spot to enjoy my favourite favourite time of day. Well, we're making an early start to a place just three or four bays across called Vinaras. According to some advice we had from Jason and Helen, who you recall we met in Pisa, it's supposed to be quite a nice spot. Now, maybe we should have just kept going to Vinaras yesterday, but to be fair, uh, after a reasonable voyage yesterday, the last thing sometimes you want to do is just keep going. You just want to pull into the first anchorage that's secure, drop anchor and just chill out. Yeah. Let's go and have a look. Well, we're definitely in Ibiza. This is the most chilled out beach so far of our whole trip across the Med. So at this 
beach. It is a thing to come down and watch the sunset. So out on that point, there's already people gathering and on top of the building over there. And people hang around quite late. Around six o'clock. This beach is particularly famous for its drumming. Usually it's supposed to be on a Sunday, but looks like it's going off now, so we're gonna head across. So keep on going around the coast until you come across the route. I can see this from below. Well, the good news is there's a spot for us in Ibiza town. So we've hauled anchor and we're off. Now we just need to get tickets to Pasha. Bob Sinclair's playing. How's it going? Help us inspire others to live their dreams. Please support us on Patreon.